We got the jolts data coming on through as we have been talking about, and it's coming out hot, folks. 10.1 million job openings in the month of April. 9.4 million is what economists had been estimating, and it's an uptick from the prior month, about 9.59 million. Actually, there's even an upward revision the prior month to 9.74, so I call it 75 million jobs. So, the job market is still hot if you're looking at this particular number. Now, I'll have to go into the release to see uh, what kind of color we get from it. And I know you already got it open there, Brad. But overall, just to say again, 10.1 million is the headline number here, which is considerably higher than expected. Yeah, in April, job openings increased in retail trade the most by 209,000. Healthcare and social assistance also um, doing their part. 185,000 jobs added there. Plus, transportation, warehousing, and utilities also rounding out some of the largest gains by sector, at least, at 154,000 there. The number of hires, interesting, that was a little change, 6.1 million there, and the rate held at about 3.9%. Hires actually decreased in information by about 37,000 jobs there. Um, and then just lastly here as well, total number of separations, that decreased to 5.7 million. So that was down by about 286,000 during the month of April. Yeah, so interesting here. The number of quits increasing in wholesale trade. You talked about that. You know, maybe that's one of the areas of strength here. A quit rate decreasing in state and local government, excluding education. And we know there has been some more weakness uh, in government hiring. So um, does this presage what we'll see on Friday in the job support? No, because it's not, um, well, not necessarily, right? Because these numbers aren't an exact. Sure. But, you know, Different what we period. heard from Yelena Shulyatyeva just a little while ago from BMP Paribas, yep. 250,000 if the job additions last month are above that number. That is going to put more pressure on the Fed to act. These numbers maybe do point a little bit more in that direction. And that kind of mirrors what City had said as well. They were looking for upwards of 200,000 to really initiate that uh, have no choice but to continue in their policy pathway at the Fed if we did see more than 200,000 jobs come in that uh, as we were discussing just yesterday. And so we'll see exactly where that employment data comes through and the employment situation at the end of this week. Yeah, I just want to take a look at stocks if we could here because I want to see if we've seen any kind of reaction. It looks like that we did see things take a bit of a leg down. Do we have any intraday charts, folks, so we can look at that uh, movement on or even a two-day chart for the major averages? Because it looks like we did see a little bit of a leg lower as we got uh, these numbers coming out again, because does this then put maybe solidify the idea that uh, the Fed that the Fed would uh, would indeed be raising rates? Yeah, it seems it seems like some of the move lower really initiated around 9:45 a.m. So a little before this data came out, but uh, continuing to see exactly where, at least in the Dow and some of the other U.S. major averages, uh, where there could be even more reaction to this figure mm -hmm. as it now gives even more inclination to how the Fed is still, of course, looking at and digesting some of the, yes, albeit lagging data, but some of the best in economic data that they can continue to look at over yeah. their policy pathway.